Well, 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 uh, this is uh, Jonathan from uh, Wrestle Rock Podcast. Uh, I hope you're doing well, everyone. So I am with my partner, Benoit, aka Nostrada Ben. How are you doing, my friend, today? Fine, and you? Yes, really good, really good. So tonight, my friend, we have a special guest uh, interview with a special person and uh let me introduce uh yourself uh, mr tony norris uh, aka hamed johnson how you doing my friend doing good man how about you yeah yeah fine and you yes 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 right, really go. really good so uh first of all thank you so much mr norris uh, we know that you are very busy with uh all your uh your uh um stuff and and, and show and interview so um we go uh, forward with uh some question for you um so uh, why did you decide to become a professional wrestler uh just something i see on tv and it intrigued me with the athleticism i like the you know the athleticism that was involved okay 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 and uh okay uh, the second question is uh, in 1990 to 1991 you signed a contract as a Dallas Cowboys linebacker. Why your football career is over? Well, I, I got my shoulder crushed up real bad in a car accident. Oh, and uh, yeah, my, my shoulder wouldn't go back in place. Whenever somebody hit me, it would pop right back out. So I had to quit from injuries. Yeah. Okay. okay. And... Uh... Uh, we know that you have uh, you have been trained by uh, Skander Hakbar, uh, Scott Casey, and uh, the, the 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 legend uh, Ivan Patsky. Between all of these guys, who's the toughest guy? I would say probably Patsky. Patsky, Patsky and, the and, Polish and, Hammer. And why? Because uh, when we uh, we uh, we spoke with Abdul the Butcher uh, two weeks ago, and. Uh, and uh, many uh, wrestlers are uh, a tough reputation, such as uh, Mad Dog Vershawn and uh, uh, Baron Von Reski and uh, Jean Rougeau, the um, Jean the, Rougeau senior, the, senior, the, the dad of uh, the Mountie. And uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that uh, very, uh, very impressive that, that uh, uh, your answer is very, very interesting. So uh, that's pretty cool. Well, uh, you, in the pro wrestling well, industry, many wrestlers have or had a toughest reputation, such as Meng, a.k.a. King Yaku, Stan the Man Anson, Bruce Brody, and many other pro wrestlers. What was your toughest uh, opponents in your career? My tough opponent, I would say, was Vader. Vader? Vader. Yeah. yeah. Because he had a, a very, very uh, bad reputation that uh, we remember in uh, in japan uh benoit uh, in wcw yes, in wcw I, I don't know if you remember uh, uh, uh one of the, the the toughest match i seen in my life do you remember i believe that it was uh, against uh stan the man and son uh with the with the eye pop up during yeah the, yeah i remember uh, that that was very insane so uh uh, between you and me, uh, you need to have a big balls to wrestle against uh, <laughs> Vader. <laughs> yeah, we had a good match, man. We had a, a very tough match. It was a shoot match. <laughs> oh and, shit! Yeah, we we had a we had a tough match, man. <laughs> and you, probably you remember his match against Cactus Jack when he punched uh, the the ear of uh, of Cactus Jack, and Cactus Jack lost uh, a piece of uh, his ear. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 was insane. That that's not easy in pro wrestling. So, uh, uh, me and my partner Benoit uh, wrestled uh, for over t uh, twelve years in the the, the French Canadian uh, area in in oh, Canada, and uh, we know a little bit uh, of that. Uh, that that it's not easy, and I imagine that wrestle with Vader and and, and many of the tough guy. Uh, that was not easy, my friend. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. It was, just, it was tough. <laughs> Can you explain to us your indie wrestling career be, uh, before WWF? For example, we know that you have a very good relationship with uh, Stevie Ray, right? Uh, yeah. yeah we'll just be, we'll Sorry? We haven't talked in a while. 
Okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, you signed a contract with WWF and your debut was uh, very different from other wrestlers because <laughs> <laughs> Because you because user usually sorry new wrestlers debuted their first match on Raw or WWF Superstar, but yours that was different. Can you talk about your WWF pay per view debut at the Survivor Series 1995? Uh, that's when I took on who? Who did I, I fight then? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a traditional elimination four against four. Yeah, I think it was me and Sid. Uh, yeah. with Shawn Michaels. And, uh, me, Sid, and Shawn Michaels. Yeah, and against uh, Yokozuna, Owen Hart. Uh, we don't remember. Yeah, that was a fun match, man. It was it was an honor to be you know, in the ring with those guys, being I was so new. But it was a good match. Yeah, and... Uh... We are not the, the 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 first one who start in the pay per view. We remember uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson was uh, was in the Survivor Series. Yeah, one year later in 1996. Yes, exactly, exactly. Right. So uh, uh, that's pretty cool. So um, about a different pay per view that we uh, we did. Do you prefer your match at uh, WrestleMania 12 or your match uh, in? Uh, WrestleMania 13. Um, WrestleMania 12, because it was so new to me. And okay. it was very exciting. Okay, okay. Your inaugural WrestleMania, yeah. That, that yeah. was the first time in, uh, in, uh, in terms of... Uh, and that's pretty cool. Um, because... Uh, uh, you have team with Jack Roberts and uh, Yokozuna against Vader, Owen Hart, and uh, a British Bulldog. Right, from Mania 12 in Anaheim. Yeah. And if I remember, uh, an important uh, things about Ahmed Johnson, you are one of the first uh, wrestler who bought a slam uh, Yokozuna. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That was a, heavy. And a really good body slam because the second uh, when, after we, Lex Luger. when we see Lex Luger, that's just a scoop slam, and you, you, uh, you a big, a big body slam, yeah, yeah. yeah you. You did a really good body slam, a real body slam with, uh, and you you hop uh, the guys uh, practically uh, over your L. That that's very impressive, my friend. Six hundred. Yeah. yeah. He was uh, heavy. It's like lifting up a truck. And about WWF, uh, we know that it's not easy because. Uh, there is uh, many uh, 300 days on the road uh, by yeah. year. And we know right. that uh, you, uh, uh, there is a lot of clicks inside of WWE. And uh, what, what was your relationship with uh, the Vince McMahon and uh, other uh, directors uh, inside the WWF? Well, it was, but Vince McMahon, it was, it was okay. Okay. I mean, not like I went to his house and had dinner or nothing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, but he was okay. Okay. Uh, do you think that WWE can give your chance to become a future WWE Hall of Famer in a few years? I I don't know, man. That's up to Vince. You know, he's mad at me, so I don't know. Uh, that that that's politic, huh? That that's a, a politic yeah. business, and. Uh, this is not easy. If you are not necessarily uh, with the right person, you don't have advantage and stuff like that. So that that's very uh, that's very different. And uh, when we uh, we talk with uh, Ray Rougeau uh, uh, one month ago, uh, he uh, he talk about uh, he don't understand uh, why uh, many uh, wrestlers such as uh, uh, Koku Beware has been inducted in WWE uh, yeah. and uh, Hall of Famer. In um, but you, you are a legend. You're a living legend. Honestly, that that's pretty cool because you are the first ever uh, WWE uh, Black Men Intercontinental Champion, and that that it's not j just a a simple piece of paper. <laughs> no, you know what I mean, so I don't understand. But um, and I, I 
I believe that you are uh, in, inducted in uh, WWE uh, Hall of Famer uh, during the, the, the last uh, WrestleMania because uh, there was in uh, Texas, yeah. in Texas, so, Arlington, Texas. Uh, in my mind, I I see that. Why not, man? The, the guy lives there, so I don't understand. So, hey, Vince McMahon, come on, big big guy. The, this man deserve it. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, one, one last thing about about Vince McMahon. Did he try to call you for an eventual uh, Hall, of, Hall of Fame uh, induction? Did he try to call you by phone? No, he, he's mad at me, so he didn't try. Oh, okay. <laughs> like you said, there's a lot of political stuff going on. Uh, exactly that we understand exactly that that's politic politic world yes yes the politic world uh, at king of the ring 1996 we remember that you uh, defeated goldust to become the first ever afro-american intercontinental champion <laughs> of all time yeah. yeah that's pretty cool do you consider that moment uh your best moment of your uh, wrestling career or uh the, your victory on uh, the Kuwait Cup was uh, was better than uh, than this opportunity. No, you, you have to say the one against Goldust was the best because it, it changed history. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, because if I didn't, you know, perform good and Vince, you know, being like they were the good old boys, it, it probably wouldn't have looked good to the other black wrestlers. But when I did good, he knew that they could do good, so it, it set history yeah and we imagine when you go back to backstage every people just clap uh, or uh, something like that just to memory uh, this important uh, uh thing right yeah yeah, yeah. okay in uh, in 1997 you were heel for the first time and only time when you joined uh, the nation of domination uh did you prefer being a face or a heel um, a face. A face, okay. And why? It just, I just like to, you know, please the crowd and, and make sure they were happy and satisfied. And, mm -hmm. you know, even when I was a heel, they still clapped for me. So, I mean. Okay, you love the standing ovation? Yeah, I love the ovations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it's a little bit, uh, it's pr practically the same thing that you, uh in uh, during uh when we start a uh, a football game with your team so that you have a, a standing ovation and you run on the on the stadium and you can see all the people uh all around see you uh with a standing ovation so that's similar exactly that that makes sense. Your answer that makes or, sense. Or uh, that's the same thing as uh, an actor who won an Oscar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in the early of uh, 2000, uh, you uh, you work with uh, you work for WCW as a big T. Are you proud to have joined the WWE Hall uh, of Famer and one of the greatest uh, WCW tag team, the Harlem Heat? Go ahead. I, I, I was kind of disappointed in WCW because I was I wasn't ready. I wasn't in shape. I wasn't ready to go. Yeah. So my career, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in, in in my career at WCW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we don't um, we, we don't forget uh, a part of your life with. Uh, you you have been in in a, uh, a part of the Legion of Doom with right. uh, WrestleMania 13. Yes, that was in the WrestleMania 13. You wrestled in a bloodbath because Stone Cold lost uh, his match against Bret Hart by submission <laughs> with the sharpshooter. You wrestled in a bloodbath. <laughs> right. <laughs> But the match were the match was good. Your match was good. Yeah, yeah the match was uh, good. Chicago Street Fight. Yeah, that's right. right. So for ending, um, uh, Mr. Norris, uh, what kind uh, we wish to uh, Tony Norris for the uh, the upcoming uh, few years? What can, right we, now. Uh, what can we wish you to the the, the, the the next year? The next few years? The next few years. Can we wish you for the next years? 
I don't know. Probably next two years. For the next two years, the the <laughs> LT, the LT, the LT probably, probably the LT. With with the LT, we can do everything. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Norris, a.k.a. Uh, Hamed Johnson. This is a great honor and uh, privilege. So, uh, we are very grateful for this uh, quick uh, interview with, uh, with you. So, uh, my name uh, is Jonathan, and uh, I'm with my uh, partner, uh, Ben, wow. Nostrada Ben. Just call me Ben. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day, my friend. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Mr. Norris. Bye-bye.